All right. I'm going to unpause in one, two, three. That's your sink. All right. Hello and welcome back to episode 13, also known as Carl's worst, one of Carl's worst uh, achievement nemesis. Asteroid defense system now online. Supposedly. All right, we've got enough power, but the ADS cannon's auto targeting is down. I think it's a faulty data cable. I need you to aim the cannon manually until I can replace it. Take the elevator to the top of the ship and head for the cannon pit. Okay, seriously, what is the point of an automated defense system is if it's not automated? <sighs> they just didn't do this. They just had to. I think even worse is this is a somewhat challenging um, vacuum section, so I might die even before the automated defense thing. Yep, okay. Just making sure I'm going in the right direction. You're going to have to cross the ship exterior to reach the ADS cannon. Oh, yes. Problem is, we're still getting bombarded by asteroids. Look for cover, or you'll get torn to pieces. Yes, yes, I will. Come on. Vacuum and zero G. Can I? It said zero gravity, but I can't do the jump thing. Which is just dumb. Multiple impacts detected across the starboard hull. Okay. That's pretty much your standard swap back and forth, letting the things hit your barrier mechanic. And for some reason, only the one you're standing behind gets hit. I think I might be able to make two. Gonna be greedy! Go, go, go! It's not really zero-g, because he totally is, uh, maybe he's mag-booting. All right. I might run out of air even. Okay, just gonna go for it because I think you can take a hit or two or this wall blocks it for you. Nope. Shoot. Okay, so I need to be a little faster in the beginning and a little slower there. Ah, oh, joy. Told you I'd probably die. All right, uh, sorry for the hard cut because I think I'm going to cut there. Um, you've only missed a couple failures, um, but I did figure out something on one of them, and so I died intentionally so that I can show you it from the beginning. All right, I just have to be patient here and let this explosion sequence get completely over. So while you can't um, uh, jump from... from Okay, I should probably hide. From the one deck to itself, you can jump from the sidewalls to to the center and the center of the sidewalls and vice versa, which is probably faster than running. Come on. Give it to me. There we go. So since I haven't made many air upgrades yet, this is probably the best way to do it. Let's see. Which has the farther away defense point? that I can actually jump to. I think it's on the right. Actually, it might be worth just running on this one. Okay, so he's making all kinds of choking noises. Ignore him. He's got 20 seconds left. That's long enough to sustain the next barrage behind this wall, and I'll barely make it into the vacuum. I hope. I hope. I hope. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on, baby. Oh, boy. I might not make this. Fuck. Well, shit. All right. Well, you saw what I'm doing, and I'm probably going to cut to the other side since you pretty much saw me make it there. Gosh, this is going to be tough. Oh, never mind. 
Uh, not cutting, because it totally just gave it to me. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, so all you have to do is make it to the other side. Lesson learned. It's kind of stupid. You know what? I'm gonna drop health for once, because I've been doing pretty good in the health department. Not been taking too much damage. Been playing like a pro. Alright, this is the other hard part of this section of the game. I think I have to remember. So it's right stick to look around, and you can alternate. And I think you have pretty much infinite ammo. And... Oh, no. You do overheat. Alright, well, I already messed up. Um... I think this achievement was made mostly for the PC, because... It, this would be way easier with a mouse. And it's hard enough just to survive on the Xbox version. Shit. It's just... Oh. It'd be nice if the cannon stayed in the center and you pivoted around it. And there's not really a good overheat sensor to show you. Like, there's just several things wrong with this section. Come on, come on. Oh, thank you. Come on, come on. Uh, it'll be a miracle if I make this through on my first try. Come on, come on. It's... Come on. Oh, thank you. Oh, so tense. Nice shooting, Isaac. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's what I would look like if I were. Oh, see, it's not even perfect. It's letting shit hit us all over the place. Um, that's what I'd be like if uh, I had a keyboard and mouse to do this, but I don't. All right, and hopefully I'll be able. Oh, all right. We're just going to. I don't have enough time to fight things. I'm just gonna haul ass. Normally, I am an advocate for the kill everything approach, but this is not the time. Do a little dodgy dodge. Hope there's nothing behind me. Come on, give it to me. Thank you. All right, don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me. Get inside, get inside. Okay. Whoo. All right. That is one of the hardest parts for me. I'm sure there are people who just have it down better than I do. Wait. But. Isaac Hammond, you're not going to believe this. Oxygen levels are falling. Something's poisoning hydroponics air production, and whatever it is, it's filling the deck up with that organic stuff. Boo. We're not going to have any air to breathe soon. But if I understand these lab reports correctly, I think I can make a poison to destroy it. Head to medical. It should have everything you need. Okay. Will this never end? Nope. Isaac, get to medical and mix together whatever Kendra's come up with. I'm heading to hydroponics. If I can slow it down, that might keep us breathing long enough to fight it. Okay. Oh, ooh. We haven't seen these yet, have we? Dead? Hope so. I kind of thought those were only in the second game. Um. Okay. Wasn't there? Was there not just one there? Am I hallucinating? Oh, damn you! Ow! 
All right. Where are you coming from? And I don't like you. I didn't kill you, apparently. Die. I hate enemies that don't give you any goodies. Okay. I am going to head down to... I think there is a shop somewhere on the second level. Let's see. I should be able to look at the map to determine that. Uh, what's the shop uh, store is the blue dot. Yeah. So actually, I think we're passing one on the path there. You see? All right. We need to offload all our schematics and stuff. Still making sounds like we're getting hit, which we shouldn't be. Here we go. Should have stopped by here earlier. Oh well. All right. Level three suit. Contact beam. Force gun. Line racks. Pulse rounds. All of the things and more. Level three suit. All right. This is the first time we're going to see the upgrade process, which is pretty neat. So, um, because we skipped the level two suit. It pretty much just looks like Isaac's suit with more um, pieces of metal on it. And this one has even more than that. So, kind of imagine a halfway in between. And that's the level 2 suit. Because aesthetics totally matter. I will never contend that point. And... Jeez, I had so much junk in my inventory. I could have bought that suit, that suit twice. All right, I'm tempted to get the four. This gun in this game, not so good. Second game, excellent. Uh, force gun is totally a tempting option, and why not, I say. Except for the fact that it means it's another type of ammo I need to carry. Let's see, did that expand my inventory? It totally did. By six slots, which is totally awesome. So, uh, we're just going to continue on, and, um, well, here. This will show you the force gun. It's not great for killing things, but it's great for gaining yourself distance. Oh, like this. Get on the ground. And then combo with something else. I don't remember what its secondary does. Let's see. Um, it might be... So... Oh, it's the grenade. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so uh, next time, we'll play around with the force gun. Uh, we'll... Go to hydroponics, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, folks.